let us see how do we create a basic simple presentation now on the screen if you see i have a blank presentation created you know how to create a new file now that's a, a blank slide which is created now if you want to start typing or start writing something here so just you can click on this place that's a text box by default which is given so i'll just keep my cursor over here inside and i can start typing here let's say i'll start uh, start typing here ms powerpoint tutorial tutorial that's it and similarly that's the heading title so if i keep on keep my cursor at this place and if i want to start typing here i can just write as ms uh, ms powerpoint 2010 ms powerpoint 2013 and so on i can keep on typing this data suppose if i want to create a one more slide over here so what i can do is you can go to this slide section and on this place you can just click on this heading on the tab or you can just click on the slide so new slide will be created and the same type of format is given here if you see there's a heading and title but if you do not like that title if you want to create a new slide with some other format so you can just click on this small drop down over here and these are the different themes available for each slide so if you see that's a title slide that's a title and content slide this one is right now title and contain if you only want a title you can select this option and if you want to compare two different charts or two different tables two different photographs etc you can select this comparison and so on so based on your requirement you can choose which type of theme do you want so i'll select this comparison so you see i can just keep on writing here something i can paste two images or i can compare like that similarly suppose i am on the second slide and if i do not like this kind of slide which is the theme which is available here title and heading the content if i want to change it what you can do is you can go to this home tab on this place you have slides group available here if you see there's a layout so layout whichever is available you can change it to some other layout so i'll select this content with caption so i'll click on that so existing layout is existing theme which is changed by this content and layout theme right so you can keep on customizing and then you can keep on typing whatever is required itself if you do not like this one if you want to bring it back suppose this this i have changed it by mistake while writing i have changed this one i have changed the position of this contain i have changed the position of this contain you try to you know experiment different areas you can take it to that place but suppose if you want to bring it back to the original place you can just click on this reset button this reset button once i click see what happens on the screen click on reset it will come back to the original position which it was available at the uh, prior place right second one is if i have three slides and uh, i i keep on creating multiple slides right now i remember when i go for a presentation i have four slides or let's say i have three slides which is for introduction so what i can do is i can group this three slide itself this three slides i can make one section and i can group it i can name the group of that section how do i do that i'll just keep my cursor at the first slide and go to the section part and i can say as add a section so these are sections for this slides available it makes a work easy when we go for a presentation so i'll just click on this add section you see there's a untitled section given here so all the slides belong to this untitled section now what i'll do is i want to change the name of this untitled section so i'll click on that thing and i can say a section rename section so now what name do i want to give it so this is the dialog box untitled section i will say as i want to do as introduction so i'll type here as introduction click on rename so if you observe all the slides which are in that you know that place that has been into the group that is what you call introduction that's a section created now i want i want to create after fourth slide some other let's say body presentation so i can just click keep my cursor at the fourth slide and go to this section and i can click on this add section so if you see there's a untitled section again the name has changed now i want to say as body presentation or i can say as body of the presentation i can say i can just go to the section and i can click on this rename section rename section again a dialog box will come i can start typing i can say as body like that and i can click on rename so i'll just minimize that section like this i'll just keep my cursor over here and i can minimize that section similarly this section i can minimize so it says there are three slides into the introduction there are three slides into the body section so accordingly you can work on that and when you go for a presentation suppose you have missed some part you can immediately navigate to that place right similarly there are various options available like remove all sections collapse all and expand all so if i say expand all you see all the sections will be expanded if i say here i want to collapse all the sections so this way sections everything will be collapsed here and there are few more options remove all sections so all the sections name will be removed and they will be ungrouped basically and you can see all them at together place right 
similarly this is how you can create a basic simple presentation and suppose there's one more which is left here suppose i want to uh, this is a presentation given here slide at this place if you see there are six options available in this place you can click here to add text and you can start typing like this or else what you can do is i'll just remove this text over here yeah now if you see there are six different options available what are those options let us see one by one the very first option if you see we can create a table so i'll just keep keep my cursor and gives me insert table so i do not want a table i'll just click and cancel second if you see it says do you want to create a graph so i'll click on this graph option like this and it will help me to give different types of graphs you can see on the left hand side there are bar graph line guard chart graph different options i do not want right now similarly there are various options available like smart art what kind of smart art do you want so what is the benefit of using this is you don't have to go to the menu bar or the tabs and basically you'll get it all at one place and the third one if you see there are options available like video if you want to put in your powerpoint from youtube or any other website you can use it and uh, there are few more options let's see what are that yeah that is one you can insert a picture second is you can insert online pictures and the third one is for the videos you can insert a video whichever is available so this way you can utilize your powerpoint presentation slides in a better manner similarly if you want to insert some images you can just go to this place and you can select this option as insert shapes also you can select the option any option you want you can select for the pictures like this also the long cut method which is available here so these are the all options available in the home tab and in the slide section so i hope you have understood how to create a basic simple presentation and it will be very useful that's all for this video